time is it? I want to tell you what time it is. It's 1.20. So it started some time ago. It's still over a half hour till it's the fullest here in Chicago area. But man, it is. it looks like the moon. The sun looks like the moon right now. So we are doing our pop up here and we are going to continue through the through the through the eclipse which is really cool. We have wonderful volunteers. They have a little eclipse party uh, beforehand for them. Pizza and veggie trays and fruit trays and little sun themed boxes that we gave them full of items. Super cool. Yeah. So um, the eclipse is having a positive impact on the pop up. A very positive. We are trying to be the light that shines in the darkness. And that's why we passed out layups today. Yeah. So we can light the way. Well, it is 2.01 as I stand here on the top of First United Methodist Church. It is exactly six minutes until the most totality that we will see here in the Chicagoland area. The last time that we had a solar eclipse, as we already mentioned, was 2017. That was about 90% totality. Today we're going to be at about 94% totality. And that's for Chicago, so maybe even slightly more than that, and here in Lansing because we're a little bit farther south. Um, before that, this blew my mind, before that, 2017, the last time that, that this area had seen an eclipse that was this total or near total was 1869. So. Thank you, lucky stars, that you're living in the era that you're living in. Another thing I want to note in, in doing some reading about this is, um, is why is it so important to wear eye protection? If you're like me, maybe you're like, okay, well, the sun is mostly blocked. I slap my sunglasses on and that'll be fine. That's not enough. It really is important to protect your eyes. The, the sun, because we're not in the path of totality, you can look at the, at the eclipse if you're in the path of totality and only while it's totally eclipsed. But otherwise you are looking at a portion of the raw, unfiltered sun that is not blocked by the moon, and that very quickly can damage your eyes. Within one to two seconds, your actual retina, there's a hole being burned in your retina, and that can happen in, in one second, two seconds. Um, I was reading uh, an interview with, with, a, with a doctor, and he said that he has seen someone's retina burned in the shape, in the crescent shape of a partial eclipse. And that's how, you know, that's the shape that comes down and that's going to burn your eyes. I thought that was really interesting. I am Kathleen Dorn. I am a paraprofessional with fourth and fifth grade. Okay. I hear a lot of excited chatter here on the... The kids been about this all week? They have been. They've been learning all before the break started. We're talking about the different phases it's going to go through and what they should be expecting and all that fun stuff. So they are prepared. They are very prepared. Very, very prepared. Do they have any idea how historic this is? I think some of them know. A couple of them, you know, but a good chunk of them understand how big of a deal this is. Okay. In ancient China at one point, uh, the, an eclipse like this was thought to be a celestial dragon attacking the sun. That makes sense. Which sounds, yeah, it, it does, it right? It did kind of look that way. Yeah. In India, the ancient Hindu people thought that what was happening today was it were, were demons seeking to drink the nectar of the gods and that they would, they would be beheaded before they captured the sun. So like they were getting to it, but then the sun comes back so the gods ultimately had beheaded the demons. So um, it doesn't pay to mess with the sun. No, it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay. <laughs> I like how you're taking morals from <laughs> these. Uh, in Incan culture, the sun god Inti, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who was generally a very benevolent, loving god, these were one of the few days that that god was severely disappointed with the people. Oh, um, and that's how he showed it. Yes. In ancient West African culture, they thought that this was the sun and moon fighting which meant that all of the humans should make peace. So that was a time for the West African tribes to make peace because the celestial bodies are duking it out up there. And then the last one here, um, 
here in North America, in the Cherokee, Cherokee Native American uh, nation, um, they thought that it was a giant frog trying to eat the sun, which it kind of looks like that too, in my opinion. True. And then what the Cherokee Nation would do is they would bang drums and blow whistles to scare away the frog that was trying to eat the sun. And, and it worked. They were successful every time. <laughs> That's right. So it's cool to be, you know, doing this at, at our modern age where we know what's happening and, and we know that it was X amount of years since the last one and we know it'll be until 2024, 2025, and yeah. I'm sorry, 2044 until the next one, I think it is. Um, it's amazing that we know that 20 years in advance too, isn't it? Yeah. Modern science is... And even just having these little glasses, you know, they make it so crisp and clear. Yeah. And people back then didn't have these. Yeah. So, How yeah, did, just yeah. Technology. Technology. Well, thank you everyone for eclipsing and lancing with us 2024 yeah and uh, we are hoping that this video turns out <laughs> yeah honestly we've never filmed anything like this before we really didn't know what to expect how the equipment was going to work and so thank you for going on this experiment with us thank you to everyone who made this video possible first united methodist church we're standing on the rooftop right now the lansing library gave us these equipped us to eclipse safely Nice alliteration there. Um, thanks to Coolidge. Thanks to uh, for, uh, Mount Zion. Yeah. And uh, everyone else who was, we've already gotten some photos from people around the country. Yes, who, nice uh, work. From Lansing who've seen this, so very cool. Yeah. So if you're watching this, that means uh, we managed to pull something together, <laughs> documenting right. the eclipse in Lansing. And uh, we are glad to share this journey with you. Absolutely. Thank you for your viewership and your support and your readership. And uh, we'll see you next week. That's right. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.